Title, The Manitoba Highway Tragedy, A Nation Comes Together, or Does It? C.L.D.R. A heartbreaking highway catastrophe in Manitoba has claimed 15 lives and sent 10 more to the hospital, with a bus filled mainly with seniors colliding head-on with a semi-truck. The nation's leaders are extending condolences, but is that enough? In a sobering incident on the Trans-Canada Highway near Carberry, Manitoba, 15 people were tragically killed, and an additional 10 hospitalized after a bus packed with folks from Dauphin, most of them seniors, collided with a semi-truck. You've got to ask, could this have been avoided? Prime Minister Justin Trudeau expressed heartfelt sympathy for those affected, saying he couldn't imagine the pain the victims' families must be feeling. Manitoba Lieutenant Governor Anita Neville and other high-ranking officials such as the CEOs of transportation companies also chimed in with condolences. But does saying sorry fix anything, really? The crash was so devastating it echoed through sports and other communities, with statements pouring in from the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, the Humboldt Broncos junior hockey team, and even folks from the Dauphin Senior Center. They all expressed immense sadness and pledged to stand with the affected families. But what about tangible actions to prevent this from happening again? Amidst the tragedy, there are the heroes we often forget, the first responders. Manitoba Premier Heather Stephenson thanked them for their dedication, and rightly so, as they bear witness to such heartrending scenes and carry on with their jobs. But aren't we forgetting the elephant in the room? How do we ensure this doesn't happen again? Look, no one is downplaying the tragedy here, or the outpouring of support that's followed. But as we mourn the victims, we must also question what's next. What changes will be implemented to avoid a repeat of such a catastrophe? And are our leaders doing enough to ensure that safety protocols on our highways are stringent enough to prevent this? Remember, this isn't an attempt to blame or point fingers, but a call to think critically and push for progress amidst grief. After all, isn't the best way to honor those lost in tragedies like these to work towards a future where such incidents become a thing of the past? Lastly, our hearts are with the victims and their families during this time of unimaginable loss. We stand by you, we mourn with you, and will continue to question, pushing for a safer future. The question is, will you?